Hey everyone, welcome back to another Betty's Lab video. What? Another? Yes, this is a project where I've been working on for weeks and cost me a fair amount of money. This is the ultimate drinks mixing machine. This ID is based on a cocktail mixer from Great Scott, but this wouldn't be a Patty's Lab video if the machine was not over engineered to the max. It will fill up your glass in under 5 seconds, it's easy to swap between bottles, it has a shots mode and most important a self cleaning routine. All of these features are controlled by a single knob and an LCD screen to guide the user and I will now show you this interface. Here you can see the welcome screen and at this moment the machine is waiting for you to press a glass against the lever and this is needed to calibrate the stroke of the lever so the machine will not pour an entire bottle of liquor and soda over your kitchen counter. And yes, my kitchen looked like a pub after 5 am during testing. We press the lever to its max position and hold it there till the countdown on the screen has finished. We are now in the main menu and on the left you can see a mix intensity slider, which we can change with the rotary encoder. Zero is the pussy setting in which no liquor will be dispensed and we can turn this intensity all the way up, especially for you Americans, to 11. America, fuck yeah. Here on the right we can see the battery level indicator. Yes, this device has a battery and can be taken on the go, but I will explain more on that later. When we push the rotary encoder, we can see the device goes into shots mode. And this disables the soda pump and now the machine will only pour pure liquor. The machine has even more features but you guys are probably thinking that I talk way too long about the stupid LCD and the knob so let's see some action. Let's start with intensity zero the pussy mode. If your ears are not bleeding by now, then you probably noticed that the machine makes noise again when the glass is removed from the lever. And this is another feature. The machine tries to move any liquids that are still in the hoses back into their designated bottles. And this is to reduce the spillage of the machine, although it could probably use a leak tray. In order not to end the video sober, let's turn up the intensity to level 4 and fill up our glass. Now the drink looks like toxic waste, so we know at least the mixing works. Earlier I told you about the shots mode, so let's fill up a shots glass. And this is where the flow control on the lever really shows its strength. What if you want to swap an empty bottle or make a different kind of drink? Well, I got you covered as well. If you press and hold the rotary encoder button, the machine will reverse its motors and this will clear out as much liquid from the tubes as it can, making a bottle swap relatively spill free. This brings us to the last topic before we open up the machine. So the hoses that are used, the metal tubes and the connection to the bottles. The tubes are made of food grade silicon and are used in the beer brewing scene and therefore perfect for this application. The metal rods are made out of copper, but ideally should be made out of 316 stainless, since copper will oxidize and also the rough surface finish will make the soda fizz. The rods are held in place by food grade silicon stoppers, which can be bought already pre-made with a hole inside. And these only need a small hole to prevent the pumps from pulling a vacuum on the bottles. <laughs> The metal rod and silicon stopper allow for great flexibility between different sizes of bottles, since the height can be adjusted. Now it's time to crack open the back of the machine, so prepare your eyes for the best cable management you've ever seen. Uh, wait, wait, what? What, what cable management? A and what, what is this? Okay, the heart of the machine is based on an IKEA Fixa drill, whose battery, motor, and charger is used. The brains are an Arduino Uno and the motors are driven by China's finest H-Bridge driver. The pumps are custom made and 3D printed and the motors are from the same IKEA drills that also supply the battery. And this allows for you to easily replicate this project. Let's make an agreement. 
You leave a like and a comment on this video and tell me what your favorite drink is and I will make a follow up video in which I will go into the technical details of this machine, explain the code and upload all the files online so you can make one for yourself. Also, please let me know what you would like to have changed or add so together we can bake a better version of this machine. It's 4am and I mean it's 4am and you're about to go to bed but then you realize you need to clean the mixer. Well, I also got you covered there with the self-cleaning routine. So you fill up a jar with lukewarm water and you dissolve half a dishwasher tablet into it. You press and hold the encoder button till the machine goes into its cleaning routine. The machine will now pull the cleaning solution through the hoses and the metal tubes and then when it's done, empty out the entire cleaning solution from its system. And now you're all done. Thank you all for watching. I hope you liked the project. And remember, as always, just try to de- So, I got you there, right? <laughs> you thought the video was over. Well, for all you kids out there, the machine will also work perfectly fine with some good old syrup and water to make a nice lemonade now it's time to go and remember just try to DIY